The final drum is the last stage in power transmission and is a significant deciding factor of the performance. In motorcycles, you can find wide variety of final drives. But have you ever wondered why the motorcycles have different type of final drives? Today we will look at the three most popular final drives used in motorcycles and find out why some manufacturers prefer one over the other. Let's start with the most popular choice, the chain drive. Almost all of the superbike uses chain drive nowadays. It offers an incredible strength for the bulk it carries and this is one of the reasons why many superbike uses the chain drive to transmit that brutal power to the rear wheel. Not only that, the chain drive is more economical to develop and produce than in counterparts. The chain drive is also beloved by racers due to the ease in manipulating a motorcycle's gear ratio. By simply changing a sprocket to a gear shorter or taller depending on the nature of the track can make a huge difference in the performance of the motorcycle. The chain drive does its job with great efficiency. It has the least power loss out of the three final drives. But it's not all rainbows and sunshine. The chain drive does have its downsides. First of all, working on your bike's chain is a messier process since it would be covered in dirt and lubricant. You have to constantly adjust the chain to maintain the proper tension because the pins and the plates that composes the chain wear will give the chain a stretching appearance. The sprocket is also subjected to wear and need to be replaced from time to time. Now let's move on to the second most popular choice, the belt dryer. The one thing that you will notice immediately is that it is clean and tidy because unlike the chain drive, no lubricants are required here. It also means that you don't have to maintain the belt by bathing it in oil like you do in the chain drive. That brings us to the first advantage of the belt drive, that it doesn't require any maintenance. Just put it on, forget about it and enjoy your long haul. This is the main reason why most cruisers, especially Harleys, uses the belt drive. Another great thing about the belt drive is that it is super quiet during the operation. The life expectancy of a belt is also exceptionally great, especially compared to the chain drive. In many cases, the belt can last up to a decade until it breaks. And that brings us to the biggest downside of the belt drive. Even though it does have exceptional life, you will find yourself in deep trouble if you manage to snap the belt during your cross-country tour because it is near to impossible to repair the bike on roadside in such scenario. You will have to remove quite a lot of parts like rear wheel, swing arm to name a few just for the replacement of the belt. Also they are not cheap. But if you consider the life and the reliability that it offers that extra price does make sense. The final one is the shaft drive. The shaft drive can be only found in those motorcycles where the engine is longitudinally mounted which means the crankshaft runs parallel with the direction of travel. Usually shaft drives are enclosed in a housing immersed in oil and because of that they are incredibly long lasting. The servicing of this unit only requires an oil change in the differential housing. This is arguably the toughest method of final drive. That makes it a favorite among the touring and adventure motorcycles. On the downside, they are complex and heavy, and if it manages to break down somehow, which is very unlikely to happen, it can cost you a good chunk of money. So to conclude, which one is the best and why? Well, that depends on the purpose for which you are buying the motorcycle for. If you are planning to rip around in the racing tracks nearby your house, the chain drive is the way to go, since it has the best design flexibility, strength and quite affordable. It's hard to beat the strength and simplicity of a chain. If you like to keep your bike clean and shiny and doesn't like getting your hands dirty but still want to cover the distances, the belt would be your best bet. There is a reason why Harley Davidson went to belts. If you want a long maintenance touring bike in which you are planning to do a cross continent tour and doesn't want to stop every now and then to adjust and lubricate the chain, a shaft drive bike can be helpful. That's the reason why bikes like Honda Goldwing, BMW K1600 GT, Kawasaki Concourse have the shaft spinning their rear wheel. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So please leave your comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.